what's going on at the Salton Sea? What are the issues relating to the Salton Sea that have some people so concerned? Should I be worried? Should I be concerned about my family, my friends, my community? Welcome to the first annual Imperial Valley Salton Sea Film Festival. And those questions and those concerns are what this festival is all about. I'm Roy Durantes, I'm the founder and director of the Salton Sea Film Festival, and I give you a warm welcome. The festival joins local and regional filmmakers to take a closer look at the issues concerning the Salton Sea. A panel of judges will take a look at those films, those short films, and select a best film winner from that pool. The judges are made up of people from the independent film and TV industry. They will take a careful look at all those short films and they will use a criteria of best content, best visuals, best audio, and best structure, how their stories are put together. And with those criteria, they will select a best film winner. There will be a first place winner with a $500 prize, a second place winner with a $350 prize, and a third place with a $250 prize. And there will be a best popular film by popular vote online, which you will select, and we'll tell you how that works later on. It's a battle royale of short films with a message and with passion. So now let's go ahead and meet the judges. We want to thank each of the 10 judges who took the time to carefully review each film and to grade them according to our criteria. And that's no easy task. Thank you, judges. And we also had the support of some very special friends. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? My name is Arturo Roman Encinas, and I just want to congratulate the contestants. You've done a great, great job. And to the winner as well. You really made an impact, and there's more awareness to the Salt and Sea now that there that they've ever been. So thank you very much. Les estoy enviando este video para hacer conciencia del Salt and Sea y su problemática. Es un lugar que necesita que ser escuchado y la manera en la que Roy Dorantes nos está facilitando este medio es es mediante un video corto de 3 a 5 minutos. Tú lo puedes elaborar con ayuda de amigos, familia o de manera independiente. Before the film battle begins, the Imperial Valley Air Pollution Control District will explain a little of why the Salton Sea situation is so important and how it affects us. And right after that, we'll see an informational video produced by the County of Imperial on the Salton Sea. Hello, I'm Katie Burnworth. I'm a Special Projects Coordinator for Imperial County Air Pollution Control District, and I want to share some information about our perspective on the Salton Sea. So the community needs to know that the lack of progress has now put us in a position where the problems that we talked about that were possibly going to come from the Salton Sea are now here today. We are seeing those big dust plume events that were forecasted on different so various social uh, media posts or you know various advertisements but those big dust plumes are here today there's other combined problems with it such as we've been seeing a lot of uh, spilling from sewer, raw sewage from Mexico into the New River um, and if you know the Salton Sea the New River is actually uh, drains into the Salton Sea. So when that water and that playa gets dried out, there's a possibility of that, those toxics and those um, from the New River sewage being in the dust. And so that alone gives another, you know, kind of another question mark, kind of a scare unknown, other than just the particle size, which is one of the main pollutants that we monitor for out the Salton Sea, which is PM10. So PM10 itself is so fine that when you breathe it in, it penetrates so far into your lungs that it doesn't come back out. And so over time, as people who get more exposed to this, they breathe it in, you know, those dust particles don't come out. Then they, you know, ha start having respiratory health effects. And in Imperial County right now, even pre-COVID and pre the Salton Sea, we are the number one hospitalization rate for asthma in the state. And so as a way to keep going and moving forward, we really need to take care of this issue that's coming out the Salton Sea. Not only is it an air quality issue, but it's also a habitat issue as well. You used to see upwards of 400 species out the Salton Sea, and according to our local fish and wildlife uh, experts out here, they've said that they've significantly decreased, which means that's gonna change our ecosystem as a whole. So 
So essentially right now in Imperial County, our cup of pollutants for PM10, which is what comes off the Salm Sea Playa, is already full. When the water transfer was signed in 2003, they knew that this water, the, the Salton Sea, when it was receding, would add another source of pollutants into Imperial County. And so since our cup is already full and nothing has been done at the Salton Sea, essentially all of that open playa becomes a new dust source of a pollutant in Imperial County, which we can't. So think of it now as you have a glass full and you start dripping into it, right? It overflows. And so that, um, we don't have space for it. We don't have the airspace for it to have clean air in Imperial County because it's the tipping point that's going to make it where it's a very unhealthy environment to live in, air quality wise. Time's up on the State Water Board revised order regarding the Salton Sea. For lack of action, we might be heading towards an ecological, public health, and financial disaster. 100 years that they've promised all types of progress, all types of uh, events to stop the sea from dying. A sea that was once thriving with life, that provided life to the community, provided fish, provided an area for swimming, for livelihood. Now you're looking at a dead sea. Now you're looking at the result of lack of inflow and pesticides and poisons and sewage coming from the south. In 2018, there were 20,911 acres of exposed playa at the Salton Sea. If we compare that to the size of the average U.S. home, which is about 1,600 square feet, we're looking at over half a million homes representing exposed playa. The water order required mitigation of only 500 acres. Are we concerned? Yes, we are concerned because there appears to be nothing happening. There's no remedy uh, that's taking place at this time. In 2019, exposed playa was at 23,912 acres, and the water order required mitigation of projects completed covering 1,300 acres. We already have really high rates of respiratory illness in the county. Uh, asthma in particular is an issue that we've been focused on for many years. And there's a strong correlation between rates of asthma, emergency department visits, hospitalizations, and how many particulates are in the air. Let's give the state a report card of the work done so far. It would be hard to pass, um, pass them uh, since we haven't met the goals that we have set. Actual projects completed in 2018? Zero. Our kids are sick, we have referrals, we have kids in and out of the hospital, we have kids in and out of the clinic. I would give the state an F, F for failure to comply, a failure to what has been promised. Actual projects completed in 2019, zero. And now for the state to meet the work required by the water order, there should be a total of 1,800 acres of required mitigation projects completed, out of which none have been completed, zero. If there was a report card to be submitted, uh, this would be an epic fail. When will this board hold the agency accountable? And what penalty should there be for non-compliance? So let's get ready to watch the battle royale of short films on the Salton Sea. And remember, you'll be choosing the best popular film by going online to YouTube or Facebook Salton Sea Film Festival and voting online. Each like will count as one vote. You're the one choosing the best popular film. Hey, it's Anthony De La Cruz, one of the judges of the Salton Sea Film Festival. I just want to take a moment to congratulate everyone who participated, and I hope you had a good time creating your video, and maybe even learned something new about the Salton Sea in the process. I'm looking forward to seeing the winning videos on TV, and maybe we can draw some attention to the area for some much-needed improvements. Once again, thank you, and congratulations. Hi, this is Jeff Vernon, one of the judges in the Salton Sea Film Festival, and I'm here to congratulate you for entering the festival and for using your artistic abilities to open our eyes to different issues that are affecting our environment and the world we live in. It really is something when you can use your talents to open other people's eyes. So thanks again for 
entering the festival, and I am really excited to see all the films. Hey, congratulations to all of our Salt and Sea contestants. Great job, and great job to our winner. We um, are super proud of all of the work that you all did and bringing your creative and beautiful skills to film to highlight the needs of the Salton Sea. Thank you again. Congrats again to the winners. And uh, we look forward to keep on watching. Okay, everybody, are you ready? Let the film battle begin. Roll them. that's participating in the Salton Sea Film Festival. Thank you for contributing and we look forward to seeing your product. We hope that you continue to produce more engaging conversation about the Salton Sea. Now, the Salton Sea is our backyard and if we don't speak up about it, to tell the story of what it is to live around it and near it, then nobody's gonna hear and they don't pay attention enough to the corner of California. 
So make your voice be heard, understand the issue, and bring more thought to what's happening around the Salton Sea. Uh, the County of Imperial has been raising the alarm on the Salton Sea for a number of years, but most significantly in the last five years. When we joined with IAD and challenged the state to recognize their obligation, and we've also gone to the state and the federal government to talk about their contributing influence on what the sea will look like in the future, including the new river, which empties into the Salton Sea. Look, I appreciate all of your interest in expressing your thoughts. This uh, Salton Sea Film Festival is a, a first, but hopefully uh, the beginning of something that will continue and it will bring more awareness to our situation here in Imperial County. Hey everyone, this is Eduardo Maitorena. I'm the writer-director of a motion picture called Soledad. It's available for free on Amazon Prime. I wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate all the participants from the Salt and Safe Film Festival. It really, really was a, a, special, a special experience getting to watch the submissions. Um, one particular film that really, really um, stuck with me was A Love Letter to the Salt and Sea. You don't every day think of the Salton Sea as this um, kind of beautiful place to fall in love with. Um, but this film actually did that and it was uh, written and directed by somebody who had worked there um, and it stuck with me. I really thought it was a beautiful piece and in, in the opposite of, of, of what I expected to see. Um, another uh, video that really um, stayed with me as well was this uh, music video by a local rap artist. Really, really talented, shot there in the Salton Sea with a really, really great message. Um, there was one last one of uh, it's kind of a Spielberg-esque sort of alien experience that, that I really enjoyed as well. So um, I just wanted to say congratulations, everyone. Thank you for participating. A special thank you to Roy Dorantes, who's been a huge proponent of, of action that needs to take place in order to clean up the Salton Sea uh, to protect the community of the Imperial Valley. So um, thank you, Roy. Thank you to all the participants and um, wishing everybody the best back home. Hi everyone, I'm Alexander Stone, the Movie Man, and I'm one of the judges of the Salt and Sea Film Festival. We just want to take this opportunity to reach out and say thank you for participating. Whether you're in front of the camera or behind, your work is making a difference, and we can't wait to see your movies. Thanks again. I want to give a great big thank you to all of the artists, the writers, the technicians, and everybody else that has worked to create the entries for the Salton Sea Film Festival. Your work raises public awareness of important environmental and economic issues that impact all of us that live in and around the Salton Sea and the Imperial Valley. Your work also contributes to a healthy artistic community within our valley. Once again, thank you for participating in the Salton Sea Film Festival. Hello, my name is Eric Ortega. I'm an IID director. I want to congratulate the participants for the Salton Sea Festival. I think it's important what you're doing because it brings awareness to all the problems that are currently existing at the Salton Sea that are impacting the quality of life for all the residents of the Imperial Valley. Uh, anytime anyone promotes awareness so that others know as to what the Imperial Valley is going through with this uh, critical situation at the Salton Sea is a good thing. I'm very happy to hear that you're using your talents to expose this situation. That IID uh, uh, is, is, is always advocating for so that we can find a solution in mitigating all the issues at the Salton Sea. Thank you again to the promoters of the Salton Sea Festival and to all its participants for all you're doing to promote awareness and attract more attention to the Salton Sea. You can't talk about the Imperial Valley without mentioning the Salton Sea. And you can't mention the Salton Sea without first mentioning the Imperial Valley. They go hand in hand, like peanut butter and jelly, burgers and fries, chips and salsa. My name is Jose Renteria, and being a native to this area, I'd heard very little about this lake that is full of mystery, mostly because the vast majority of Imperial Valley residents know very little about the lake. Most give you a quick shrug of the shoulders and say, well, I don't know, I just know it's polluted. Or they'll say something like, why would I want to go there? You've all heard something similar to this, right? In fact, ask yourself, what do you know about the Salton Sea? When was the last time you went there? Take out all the hogwash, all the bogus stories, all the negativity, 
and most will not give you a clear answer. Well, sometime in 2006, I decided to explore for myself. I wandered into what used to be a popular marina and boat launch, Red Hill Marina County Park, and I was in awe. I could not believe how massive the body of water was. Nothing but water, as far as I could see. And, besides sounds of birds all around me, a very quiet and peaceful place, actually. Now, I've been a fisherman of canals, a lover of all things outdoors, and have a natural fascination for water. It was inevitable that I would meet with California's largest lake. But, rather than ask locals for information, I decided to read scientific information, history, and intimate stories that date back to the origins of the county itself. While reading the Great Salt Sea Atlas by the Redlands Institute, Salt Dreams by William DeBise, and other detailed literature about the Salt Sea, I came to find out that it is nothing like what people say it is. It's not toxic, it's not polluted, it's not dead. With that information, I decided to go fishing, to go swimming, ride the waves, boogie board it. And, as luck would have it, my research became even more intimate when I became an employee at the Sunny Bono Salt Sea National Wildlife Refuge during the summer of 2007. I took a heavy interest in all things Salt Sea, and well, once I knew the facts, based on what I had been reading, and other important information, I had to spread the word. I was on a mission to reach out to the locals and conduct as many educational tours to anyone interested. Eventually, I was leading educational tours along the Rock Hill Trail at the Sunny Bono Salt Sea National Wildlife Refuge to schools in Calexico, Brawley, Hopeville, El Centro, Sealy. It was fun to see these children's eyes light up when they saw the wildlife, the water, their funny questions about if there were any whales, sharks, or sea lions in the lake. But besides that, the point of it all was to give them the correct information about the Salton Sea, and hopefully they'll remember their fun trek and take what they learned back to their parents. In my subsequent years at the Sunny Bono Salton Sea Wildlife Refuge, sometime at IVROP, and later the Salton Sea State Park in the Northeast Shores, I spoke to thousands of visitors, and I'm not exaggerating, people from all over the world. Spain, Australia, Ireland, Russia, Germany, Italy, all the way to Canada, to Alaska, New Hampshire, Maine, Colorado, to folks from all over California, and very rarely, people from Imperial Valley or nearby Coachella Valley visited. This bothered me. I found this to be very sad and quite disappointing, actually. So as an employee with some ability, I reached out to the community leaders, the radio station, to invite them on a kayak tour, bird watching tour, or a formal presentation about the lake. And, well, unfortunately, I was met with resistance. I simply wanted for them to see what I see. You can't reach everyone, but hey, I wanted to. If you lived 10 or 20 miles away from Lake Tahoe, the Great Lakes, or Sequoia National Park, I'm sure you'd have gone there many times, in fact. But the Salton Sea, with its reputation, it's largely ignored. It doesn't deserve that reputation either. Yes, what you read about in the local news is true. The receding shoreline in the very fine particulate matter is greatly affecting the air quality, with less and less water entering the Salt Sea since 2003. But think about today, actually today and tomorrow. The Salt Sea is still there. It's not going away next week or the week after. You can still visit it. There's still plenty of time to check out all the great vistas, believe me. Go there at sunrise or sunset. It's absolutely beautiful. Visit Obsidian Butte, very close to Calipatria, You'll forget where you are. Red Hill Marina County Park is still there, mostly popular for bird watchers. Or check out the mud volcanoes right next to Red Hill. Or of course the very famous Salvation Mountain in Island. Or the Observation Towers just a few miles away from Calipatria. Or the Back Cave Buttes in the north along Highway 111, north of Brawley. There's still much to see and experience around the Salton Sea. Go out and explore it. See all the absolutely beautiful vistas. See it for yourself. See it before it shrinks even more. Experience what countless others have experienced. After all, you are closer to the Salton Sea than anyone else. I want to say thank you to some very special friends and supporters of the Salton Sea Film Festival. Friends like Alex Cardenas of CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocates, Matt Desert of the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District, and Robert Garcia, an Imperial Valley musician extraordinaire who's always there helping us with our many projects. And to so many other friends and supporters, thank you. And now, let the battle continue. Roll em. Hello, I'm Paul Hibbing, one of the judges for the Salton Sea Film Festival. And I wanna thank each and every one of you who have submitted an entry for this film festival. 
your work whether it was dance or music or acting or poetry will help highlight and elevate the awareness that we are facing with the salton sea please continue to use your artistic talents in whatever endeavor you have in your life thank you very much i just love to congratulate every single of you for participating to the Salton Sea Film Festival in Imperial Valley, California. I'm Arturo Valenzuela, fashion designer here in Tucson, Arizona, and I just want to love to thank Mr. Roy Dorantes for letting me be part of one of the judges to the important panel for this film festival in Salton Sea in California. Thank you, and continue working hard. One day you're going to be participating, never know, in the international film festival all over the world. Thank you and congratulations. Hi, I'm Eva Cervantes and I'm one of the judges in the Salton Sea Film Festival and I just want to take a moment right now to congratulate each and every person who's taking part in this filmmaking project. This is an amazing opportunity to display those artistic skills, whether it's behind the scenes doing the filmmaking, the writing or the directing, or if you're in front of the camera doing the acting, you're able to bring attention to the community and the needs that everybody may not see otherwise. I do want to encourage you to continue to use your art to help make the world and your community a better place. I'm really looking forward to watching all of these entries, so keep up the good work. Hello friends, my name is Anush Shukla and I'm one of the judges in the Imperial Valley Salton Sea Film Festival. First of all, I want to congratulate all the winners and of course all the participants who have worked hard to make this happen. Your art, your skills can raise a many important issues in the society, especially in the Salton Sea area. Your films are not just the entertainment. It can give a strong positive message to bring about changes in the environment. I want to wish you all the best for your future projects and keep up the good work. Behind me is the Salton Sea. And I've often been asked the question, what is wrong with the Salton Sea? And that can be summarized in one word. Dead. Now, we all understand how a human being can die, but a sea? How does it die? Well, let me show you. We draw this diagram here. This represents the Salton Sea. And this represents the water going into the Salton Sea. And you'll see that there's nowhere here where the sea gets, the water gets out. And it just sits there. Perhaps a better way to illustrate that is I draw this little circle here. And this represents a pond or a puddle in your front yard. And it just sits there and sits there for like six months. What do you think will happen? It'll start stinking. It'll have little ickies in it. And it will be terrible. That is what's happening with the Salton Sea. Now, I've also often been asked, so what? Why is the Salton Sea important? There, it is important because of the wetlands that we do want to provide for the birds that migrate across the United States. But we also, unfortunately, have a problem with some areas of the Salton Sea evaporating too fast. And there, I think we can fix that by putting sprinklers in there that spray the water onto this area or increasing the flow of the water into the Salton Sea. Now, also I've been asked, what can we do to fix this? And what I suggest is that we go ahead and we put a pipe here and run this pipe all the way down to the All-American Canal or to some of the ponds that the IID has spread across the valley. And that what we do here is we are sucking water out of Salton Sea. 
This way, it allows eventually, because we're getting water flowing in, and we're taking water out. This will cause the circulation, and eventually the water will be good water, and it will allow the fish to live there, also will allow the birds. So that is my suggestion. I thank you very much. Congratulations to all the local filmmakers who participated in the Salton Sea Film Festival. The Salton Sea has many great challenges that are affecting our public health, our economy, but it doesn't have to be that way. We need to make sure that through this type of awareness and filmmaking, that we are educating not only the local community, but that we're bringing awareness to state and federal so that they can maintain the commitment and the pressure to assure that they are in a timely manner improving the quality of life, bringing projects to the Salton Sea, inviting a new economy that could be a multi-billion dollar economy, and it could happen. Once again, I'd like to thank the filmmakers for your participation, RD Media, Roy Dorantes, and I'd like to encourage you to continue to bring in more awareness through the arts, through the filmmaking, into our community. Thank you. Hello, the Salton Sea continues to be an issue here in our Imperial Valley. It has impacted our community, our families, and our health. Therefore, it needs attention. It has gone on too long without having any resolution. That is why I support the Salton Sea Film Festival, because it truly highlights and showcases the impact that it has in our community. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ryan Childers, and I'd like to congratulate all of the participants in this year's Salton Sea Film Festival. The short films that you submitted are helping to bring attention to a very, very important issue, the environmental and public health catastrophe that's occurring right here in our backyard at the Salton Sea. The good news is, if our public, if our community brings its resources together and we demand attention and action on this problem, it can be solved so that future generations don't have to have the highest hospitalization rate for childhood asthma in the state. We can do better and it's projects like this that are gonna get us there. So Congratulations to all of you that have participated in the Salt and Sea Film Festival. I hope what you're doing is going to bring a renewed interest to the Salt and Sea. And we can make the Salt and Sea the way I remember it as a child. I remember wading in Salt and Sea. I remember seeing friends and relatives water skiing in Salt and Sea. Unfortunately, we can't do any of that now. So with the publicity that you're going to bring to Salt and Sea, through your creativity, and through your films, I hope we can draw attention to the Salton Sea and bring it back to the way I remember it. Thank you in advance for what you're doing for my memories of Salton Sea. Thank you. There is a place in Southern California that not many people have heard about. In the furthest corner of the Imperial County, a place once known for its beauty, a place that once was a vacation destination for those hot summer days, is now an abandoned, decaying piece of land, full of abandoned businesses, few homes, and the smell of dead fish. People have called this location by many names, Wonderland, miracle of the desert, the desert oasis, and the forgotten sea. A place once considered a desert paradise now sits slowly crumbling away after years of contamination and abuse. This once great paradise is now a huge pool of pollution 
that sadly affects us all. The Salton Sea. All life that is there hangs by a string. The fish wash up dead on the shore. The air becomes toxic little by little as the contaminated particles infiltrate our oxygen. Hundreds of birds are now left without an important stop in the migration process. And the sad part is that all of this is happening while many of us are just sitting back, unaware or ignorant to the problem. The Salton Sea has sadly turned into one of the country's greatest problems when it comes to environmental issues and pollution, causing our oxygen to become a carrier to problems such as asthma and cancer. We living in the Imperial Valley are currently one of the places mainly affected by the Salton Sea, but there is still beauty to be found in the Salton Sea. This is our valley. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce the assembly member for California's 56th district Eduardo Garcia. Hello everyone. It's your assembly member, Eduardo Garcia, representing California's 56th district. Uh, encompasses the areas of Imperial Valley, Coachella Valley, and the communities of Blythe. Wanted to uh, jump on and say hello to everyone who's watching and who specifically is uh, participating in this year's Salton Sea project. Uh, all of the local community members that have submitted their work, whether it be via documentation or via video who want to raise their voice and their concerns about this long-lasting environmental justice problem that's uh, right here in our backyard. Uh, what was once a beautiful uh, tourism destination that brought uh, thousands of people to fish, swim, ski, uh, to rest and vacation has become a place of uh, really solitude, um, air quality problems, um, economic and environmental justice concerns, and uh, something that uh, many people look at uh, and have lost hope in, that uh, it will never be what it was before. Uh, over the last uh, several decades, many efforts, uh, studies, and dollars have been invested uh, to look at what could be done uh, to make the Salton Sea um, alive, and make it an attraction for this region once again. But unfortunately, very little effort um, has turned into uh, fruition when it comes to uh, what we see as an accomplishment and ultimately uh, see as uh, an end result. I'd like to share with you that over the course of the last six years, 
we've actually seen some progress, progress that's come from the state of California and our locals. Uh, the Salt and Sea Authority that's made up of Imperial County, Riverside County, Torres Martinez Tribe, Pure Irrigation District, Chela Valley Water District, and those partners working with local stakeholders, uh, community members like you, and those who are participating in this project have given the state of California input on developing what is the 10-year Salt and Sea Management Plan, a plan that is focused on conservation and habitat restoration. What does that mean? Well, it means that those two objectives are focused on keeping the sea alive for purposes of eco habitat and public health. Public health meaning uh, the air quality problems that we face in Imperial County and Eastern uh, Riverside County, the Coachella Valley portions uh, that we represent and that we share uh, with the Salton Sea. Close to $300 million have been dedicated to the implementation of this 10 year management plan from the state of California, specifically from two propositions um, that have dedicated this money. One in particular, Prop 68, that I was the author of uh, the measure that dedicated $200 million, and on a side note, that also dedicated $10 million for the new river cleanup here in Calexico. So close to $300 million, a 10-year management plan, and the implementation that begins this year in which the state of California has actually awarded a contract for work to begin on the southern eastern part of the sea to begin some of this habitat restoration work and mitigation of air quality problems that we have. Some progress. Progress that if we drive by the sea, uh, if you live by the sea, not everyone gets to actually see it with your own eyes, but progress that is beginning uh, this year, these weeks, this month. And it's something that we should be acknowledging and feeling a sense of hope that progress is in motion uh, by the partners that have been working on this. My message is to say thank you uh, to the locals who are raising their voice, raising their concerns, and contributing to the conversation in a constructive manner. Our office is here to hear your concerns, answer your questions, and take your constructive input on this matter or on any other matter. Uh, thank you again for participating in this effort, and we look forward uh, to seeing good results and outcomes for the people of Imperial County. God bless you and take care. Hello, my name is Arita Chen, the Executive Director of the Imperial Valley Cancer Support Center. I'm here today to congratulate and thank all of the participants of the Salt Sea Film Festival. We were so excited to see the entries and we want those that enter to continue to do things that will benefit the community and show how concerned they are about things that happen, including the Salt and Sea. We'd like to thank Roy Durantes for even including the Imperial Valley Cancer Support Center in this particular program. We are always excited about helping out other community leaders and doing things that we can to help Imperial Valley. So once again, congratulations, and we hope to see you again next year. Let's get it. This the place where I'm from. These are the things that I see. This the place where I live, so this place is me. <laughs> this the place where I'm from. These are the things that I see. This the place where I live, so this place is me. It's in my blood, running through my veins night and day. Even if I tried some things, we can't change. This where I'm from. These are the things that I see. This the place where I live, so this place is me. It's in my blood, running through my veins night and day. Even if I tried some things, we can't change. From California in the valley, this is all for me. From the oceans down to the rivers to the salt and sea, the air we breathe is something that we can't spare. These things I've been seeing lately have me real scared. From pollution in the media to pollution in the air, we can no longer breathe it and pretend it ain't there. It ain't fair. We can't play. This the place we at. There's no way we can let 
the decay and fade the black but raised in a place where you get to learn what madness is you can't allow yourself to get shocked in the paralysis toxicity in the air but they don't tell you it's easy to wish you well when they don't help you we got so much to lose for being regular folk This is what they keep from the news This is what they don't show They expect us to drop everything and let it all go But this our life, this is all that we know This the place where I'm from These are the things that I see This the place where I live So this place is me, it's in my blood Running through my veins night and day Even if I tried some things we can't change This where I'm from these are the things that I see, this the place where I live, so this place is me, it's in my blood, running through my veins night and day, even if I tried some things we can't change. In the land full of citizens that can't change the cities or the counties that they're living in, led by leaders that are blinded and visionless, I hope you're getting what the picture is, sit back and picture it, all I can do is paint it, verbally, we've been real patient for far too long, but we can no longer take it, accept the terms and be complacent, we need changes, put in place today and we expect to make it can i get a witness or someone that's willing to fix it what do we plan to leave behind for our children's children there's a future that we need to look forward to we're looking at each other like what are we supposed to do what do you see when i show you what i'm showing you this isn't an issue that we can just keep coasting through we can't drop everything and let it all go yo this our life this is all that we know this the place where i'm from these are the things that I see, this the place where I live, so this place is me, it's in my blood, running through my veins night and day, even if I try some things we can't change, this where I'm from, these are the things that I see, this the place where I live, so this place is me, it's in my blood, running through my veins night and day, even if I try some things we can't change, this place where I'm from. These are the things that I see, this the place where I live, so this place is me, it's in my blood, running through my veins night and day, even if I try some things we can't change, this where I'm from, these are the things that I see, this the place where I live, so this place is me, it's in my blood, running through my veins night and day, even if I try some things we can't change. The films you just watched are the ones in the pool from which the judges will select the best film awards. And now we're going to watch a couple of films in the honorable mention category. Remember, you're going to vote for the best popular film and that involves the best films and also the honorable mentions. You will select who wins the big award in that category. This is Bombay Beach. One of the few tourist attractions still having people come back to the Salton Sea. But you see, this sea wasn't always a sea. It used to be a lake. Lake Coahuila, from the Coahuila tribe. Indigenous people lived all around this lake. And it was a massive lake. One of the biggest lakes in North America at the time. It would span from what is now Palm Springs to El Cierro Preto de Mexicali. And they had a system. The water, venía del Rio Colorado. Bless our valley for a few couple, you know, couple years, hundred years, depends. And then into the Rio Hardy, and just go into the Gulf of Cortez. So, what made this into an environmental disaster for our valley and our generations to come? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Us humans, humans messed it up. Just 115 years ago, a group of engineers decided to build the uh, irrigation system in the valley and big problems happened. It led to water being overflown in here for two whole years, which led to the development of a sea. So why should you care? That's a good question. So we live right next to the Coachella Valley. And we all know the Coachella winds are pretty freaking strong. These winds are picking up this pollution from the water, from the floor, sending it all our way down south. There's a hearing coming up 
and there hasn't been a hearing in the last 20 to 30 years. So it's about time we do something. Hey there, Charlotte Teeters here from the Imperial County Film Commission. I just wanted to wish everybody at the Salton Sea Film Festival good luck and congratulations to all of tonight's winners. I can't wait to see all of these entries. You guys I know have done tremendous work and I look forward to having this film festival in 2020. The Film Commission wasn't able to put one on this year, but we are making efforts and moving forward for a 21. Uh, film festival. So I hope that encourages you to continue to work and tell great stories in a short format. And uh, we'll be getting those details out to you soon. But as for the Salton Sea Film Festival, congratulations again. Thank you for your efforts and continue to be consummate filmmakers here in the Imperial Valley. And now it's time to name the winners of this year's Imperial County first annual Salton Sea Film Festival. The judges have selected the winners. They are in this envelope. Remember, first place is $500, second place $350, and third place $250. Drum roll, please. Thank you. And the winner of the Best Film Third Place Award is this place by Tony Romero. Congratulations, Tony Romero. Good work. And now the winner for best film second place is drum roll. Thank you. The Salton Sea by Dakota Miranda. Congratulations, Dakota Miranda. Good work. We want to remind you that at the end of the program, you will have a chance to go online to Facebook or YouTube, Salton Sea Film Festival, and start voting from, from tonight to November the 18th for the best popular film. You can vote on both sites, Facebook, Salton Sea Film Festival, and YouTube as well. Each like will count as one vote. On November the 21st, we will announce the best popular vote winner. On November the 7th, we will present a cashier's check to the winners of the best film award category. And now it is time. Drum roll, please. Thank you. We are now going to announce the best film first place award winner for the first annual Imperial Valley Salton Sea Film Festival. We want to thank all the filmmakers who submitted their films, who took their passion and, and who did research. You know, when we started this film festival, the main objective was to get people to look at the Salton Sea, to do research on their own, and to inform themselves on the issues that affect all of us. And it worked. These filmmakers seem to have informed themselves on what was going on with the Salton Sea and what is still going on. And we want to thank the community for supporting this work. The outpouring of support for this project has been tremendous. And now, here it is. The winner of this year's Salton Sea Film Festival. Drum roll, please, again. And the winner is... Salton Sea Beauty by Jose Renteria. 
and you can't mention the Salt Sea without first mentioning the Imperial Valley. They go hand in hand, like peanut butter and jelly. Hi everybody, my name is Jose Renteria and I uh, submitted a video to the Salt Sea Film Festival uh, and it's basically just a montage of uh, photos that I took over the years. Uh, some of the pictures actually date back to 2008 and I, I just wanted to bring uh, positivity uh, uh, about the Salt Sea to Imperial Valley residents. Uh, because uh, even though I've I been talking to people from all over the world, thousands of people, uh, the main concern that I had was that Imperial Valley residents knew um, the truth about the Salt Sea and that it's not really what it's cracked up to be in terms of the negative things about the Salt Sea. Uh, if you go onto uh, social media, basically the same thing is said about the Salt Sea. It's mysterious, it's weird, it's strange, why would you want to go there? And it's really not like that. Um, you have to see it for yourself. Um, it got to the point that I got pretty frustrated with visitors, actually, um, the many people that I, that I encountered on an everyday basis. And they considered almost the Salt Sea to be a sideshow attraction. And it doesn't really deserve that reputation. It's, it's really quite the opposite. You have to see it for yourself. You have to be very close and see it over and over again to see, uh, to see it throughout the seasons. Um, nowadays, it's uh, now that we're going into wintertime, it's a great idea to explore for yourself, so I really encourage everybody to just get out and see what I've seen throughout the years, and I think you'll have a lot of fun. Congratulations to all the filmmakers who took the time to work on this project and to do the research to find out the issues about the Salton Sea. We encourage you to continue using your arts and your skills to raise awareness on all issues that concerns the community. I want to remind you, after this show ends, at 10 o'clock Pacific time, you can start voting for the best popular film. Go to YouTube or Facebook, Salt and Sea Film Festival, and start voting. You will have from tonight till November 18 at midnight to vote for your favorite film from all the categories, from best film category and also honorable mention. They both qualify, so start voting once again. This is Roy Durantes, director of the Sultan Sea Film Festival, saying thank you for staying with us through this program. Please stay tuned uh, by going to our Facebook or YouTube page, Sultan Sea Film Festival, to find out more about our projects and our next film festival, and to find out how the winners reacted when they received their checks. This is Roy Durantes saying thank you, good night, and roll up. This the place where I'm from. These are the things that I see. This the place where I live. So this place is me. It's in my blood. Running through my veins night and day. Even if I try some things, we can't change. This where I'm from. These are the things that I see. This the place where I live. So this place is me. It's in my blood. Running through my veins night and day. Even if I try some things, we can't change. From California in the valley, this is all for me. From the oceans down to the rivers to the salt and sea. The air we breathe is something that we can't spare these things i've been seeing lately have me real scared from pollution in the